I'm gonna say it for you. You can say it in the comments. What is going on, little butt plugs out there, and welcome to this Minecraft video today. We are going to delve a little into MCMMO, just a little bit. Now, for those of you who don't know, I am not entirely into the aspect of PvP in Minecraft. I just, it's not why I play it, um, it's not why I play factions. I play factions for MCMMO. Now, I'm aware that you can find MCMMO, you know, on Townie or even just regular survival servers, but I like to play it on factions because, <laughs> let's be honest, faction players are hilarious, they try hard. <laughs> no, I'm saying? Alright. So anyway, uh, so without further ado, let's just get right into it. I figured we'd start off with um, a skill that I could convince you is extremely important, and that is salvage. Now, what is salvage? Salvage is the ability to recover materials from tools and armor, such as this. Bam. Just like that. I got 20 ingots back, and yeah. I'm done. There, there you go. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now, um, to, to to get salvage levels, what you need to do is you need to repair uh, fishing and er, you need to earn levels. There we go. In fishing and repair, as salvage is, is a child skill. Uh, now, this plugin will take your level in both skills of fishing and repair, combine them, and then bam, you got your salvage skill. Um, however, you do need a default level 50 uh, to be able to salvage diamond stuff. So, why is salvage so useful, you ask? Well, for two reasons. One, like I just showed you, you can you, know, you can, you know, salvage crappy tools and armor from raids, and you'll get more money from it, and it'll even possibly give you the enchants off of it. Like, here, I'll show you. Here's some shitty armor and shitty uh, loot. So, bam. There we go. Got the book. So now, I got me a protection one book. So, I didn't, I didn't get shit there. Okay. Bam. Got a looting book probably. Yeah, looting. All right. So that's how you do that. I mean, that's basically what that is. Um, pretty simple stuff. But also, you can um, when it comes to zombie pigmen. Uh, this is the other re really good reason is you can actually salvage this gold swords that zombie pigmen give you when you kill them to get even more gold for the coveted god apples. So with salvage, um, you want to uh, you basically you you, you really don't want to use it until you get to about a level like 150. That's when you're going to unlock arcane salvage. Now arcane salvage is uh, at default, uh, and some servers may change this. Um, 150 and you will start to get a chance to receive enchants back in the form of a book just like I you know, showed you there. You have two ways to use this. It's a passive ability. You can either get it as a full enchant received or as a partial enchant received and a partial enchant is obviously just a lower level book than what was on the item. Now uh, if you want to uh, if you want the percentages more explained more in depth uh, when you look at it on paper, they're kind of the opposite of what, or they're the opposite of what they look like they should be. Just message me on uberpvp.net forums, I'll explain it. But anyway, then you have advanced salvage, and advanced salvage is when most people start salvaging. And this is unlocked at level 350 salvage, which is 700 combined levels of fishing and repair. With this, you'll never get the full materials back, but what it is, is it's a, if a, if a tool is damaged, um, or anything with her ability for that matter, which is all that you can salvage, is damaged, you'll get back, you know, still partial, um, a partial amount of that item. Now, here's kind of a really quick rundown of how that works. Say you have a pick, okay, and this pick is 15% damage, but this one isn't, but let's just say that it, it is. The most you can get out of this is two ingots, right? It's not possible to get any more. But if your salvage or if your advanced salvage level is lower than 66%, which is you know two ingots, you'll still only get one ingot out of it. So um, if you, whoops, uh, I can't spell salvage because I'm an idiot. All right. Uh, so yeah, my salvage is uh, or my um, arcane salvage is 76.9%. So I should get two ingots out of this. Now it is, this isn't a hundred percent. Yeah, okay. So like I said, salvage is never 100%. Whatever the percentages are, they're never 100%, but you're still going to get something out of it. And like I said, with the apples, 
you know, I gain a lot of gold just off of swords and stuff like that. So basically that is salvage in a nutshell. Now, um, why would you waste your time with fishing when you can just get repaired a level 2000 and be done with it? Well, unlike repair, which is much easier to level, fishing actually gives you a lot when it comes to salvage. And repair is basically useless, so I know that Minecraft killed fishing, and I know that it's much harder to grind it now that MCMO has also taken some measures to slow you down, but the harder skills to level are usually the ones that are like really OP, and let me tell you why. So let's go ahead and grab a fishing pole, and first let's go over how to level fishing. Well, you fish. Uh oh, retard alert! <laughs> Obviously, right? So what you do is you're going to throw your bobber in the water there, and you're gonna wait for a fish and so um, catching a red fish, a blue fish, a clownfish or a puffer fish will give you 800 XP. Um, catching treasure will give you a thousand XP no matter what kind of treasure it is and shake will give you 50 XP and I'll go over that in just a minute. Um, so if you haven't noticed, oh I missed it, that sucked. But if you haven't noticed, fishing has been you know, slowed to a fucking halt. So, oh yeah, don't mind that, uh, it's my texture pack, long story. Anyway, so yeah, fishing has been slowed to a complete fucking halt. Um, and so, even with Lure 3, it's so slow that it just feels like you'll never get to level 1000. Um, and I, I, trust me, I know, it's a pain in the ass. But what can you do? Alright, well as a default, uh, you have a chance to use Shake, which is a passive ability on mobs that are um, until level uh, 150, you have a 15% chance. Let's see if we can find a mobby mob. If we can, I'll just spawn a creeper, I guess. Hey, hey, biggie, biggie. So by default, you have a 15% chance of doing this. Come on. You make me look like a fool now. Come back here. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you. There it is. See? Now I shook two pork chops. Oh, actually, I got another one. I didn't even realize it. I shook three pork chops off of this thing. It's not even dead. So there we go. And when it dies, it still does, does its normal drop. So with Shake, you can get more loot off of stuff as well as more experience um, uh, and, and, and faster than you could with the actual fishing. So how Shake works is at level 151. Now, they, these are... Uh-oh. Thank God for... Holy crap, I dodged and I rolled. Oh my god, acrobatics, you are god. Anyway, so, at 151, these are defaults, by the way. Um, your shake chance goes from 15 to 25 percent. And at 201, it's going to go to, I believe, 40. And then every uh, 20 or 200 levels, it's going to keep going up until it gets to, to 75 at 801, and it's going to max out. Um, and so. Now, again, these are defaults, and on the server that I'm playing on, uh, it is not the case. That is, it's much, much different, and uh, it, it, it will likely be different depending on, because some, some some server owners see Shake as a little bit OP. Um, once you have 35% Shake, you can actually level much faster than catching fish. Well, not much faster, but faster than, than catching fish, and you can do it AFK without any mods or anything. However, some servers have more advanced AFK detection tools, so holding down your use key uh, may set it off and still kick you, uh, much like the server that I'm on now, uberpvp.net. So check back often to make sure that you haven't been kicked, but let me go show you the machine that I've been using, um, and we'll do a short little uh, look over the machine and what makes it possible. Okay, so welcome to my base. I know a lot of people have been wanting to see this thing, but yeah, this is... Um, the shake grinder and basically what this thing does actually let me just show you so um, actually let me just uh, eat real quick there we go 
All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. I don't know what the hell was going on, but anyway. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna continually right click, and this thing right here. Oh, I didn't mean. Okay, this thing right here will come down, and it will automatically repair your pick for you, or not your pick, your uh, your fishing rod. And what I'm doing is I'm using shake. So I'm just gonna hold my right click, and what it's doing is it's shaking these mobs. And um, I got a crack, and goddamn it. All right, and uh, you'll you'll understand what that means. You just don't want to look too too low. And basically, what you do is you can actually just hold your right click down, and you'll continually shake them. And you're gonna gain 50, see I shook some stuff off of that one. You're gonna gain 50 XP every single time that you shake them. And I know it looks it sounds like you know okay you're gonna gain 50 or 800 right? Now that doesn't make it a sense. Poop memory that don't make the sense, mate. No, trust me, this is better, and it's better for two reasons. One, like I said, because you're shaking stuff off of them, you actually have a chance to shake their swords, you can shake gold nuggets, you can shake uh, even gold ingots off of them, and you just continue to shake, and uh, I'm lagging so bad. Anyway, so, why is this useful? I will show you. If you go ahead and, I'm gonna actually, oh, you want you want some string in your inventory too. Um, uh, that way it can repair it. But basically, in just that little time that I was doing that, just that little time there, look at what I got. You know, it's it's insane. When your shake chance is up high, it's it's incredibly fast. Now, how do you make this? This is a normal drop grinder. This will just kill them, right? And all I gotta do is I hit this little button and it, it puts the water out. So inside here is just a bucket of water. And so if I hit it, it takes the water away. If I hit it again, it puts the water back. Pretty simple. And normally it just drops their stuff in here. Um, I haven't been running it lately, I've been just doing this. Now if you want to AFK a drop grinder, that's cool. You'll still gain more gold doing it this way, I guarantee. Now this part of it is much bigger than it needs to be on most servers. On this server they mess with redstone quite a bit. And I'm going to kind of go over what this is. Now I actually originally set this up so that we could possibly do a two person thing. Um, it turned out that uh, nobody wants to grind fishing with me. So, it's so sad. <laughs> but anyway, um, I, I gotta turn these things down. I can't. I can't listen to them anymore. Jesus Christ! All right. Uh, but you can actually make this a little bit smaller, um, even on this server. But basically, uh, let me get on top and I'll show you what this is. Basically, now this isn't um, a new concept by any means. But uh, all right. Yeah, so basically, this right here is a hopper timer, and I'll show you. It's very. It's set very slow. You know, it's only got about 10 items in there. Um, actually, I think it's got 15 items in there, to be honest with you. I think, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, so, um, right here, um, when it when it, when it it outputs the signal, it creates a monostable circuit. So this is going to go up. Ha, <laughs> that was embarrassing. This is going to go up. It's, it's going into a repeater with four ticks, so it's just delayed enough to set off this RS Norlatch. Now, there was a smaller RS Norlatch that I was using, but it seemed to get stuck on for some reason sometimes. I don't know why. Um, this is a very big RS Norlatch, and you can make smaller ones, so play with it. But this is the one that ended up working for me. I tried about five or six different des designs, and they just wouldn't work. Uh, and again, that's this server. This server does some stuff to redstone and to hoppers to try to reduce lag. But um, basically what happens is it provides power to this signal, which turns off this torch and turns this light on. Okay? So once it turns, or once it turns um, this torch off, it's going to turn off this redstone, which turns this torch on, which keeps this torch off. Okay? And then this redstone torch powers this repeater, goes here, here, powers that repeater, so it's got a four tick de delay, and then it goes back to this one, powering this one, which turns this torch back off, and leaves this torch back on. So for about four ticks, this redstone is not powered, which means this redstone torch is powered, which sends the, uh, the iron block down in front of you for about four ticks. Um, and it does it in a way, now you're gonna have to play with your timing and as you level up where you get a higher shake chance, you have to remove some more items because um, you, when you're doing shake, it, it, it's gonna harm your fishing rod faster and the more chance you have to do shake, the more shakes that you're gonna do. So basically, yeah, that's the reason why uh, you need to kind of play with the timings. Oh, I didn't explain this. 
This thing right here is so that it locks both hoppers all the time, meaning that if I'm not standing on this 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 pressure plate, this thing won't constantly be going, which is like super fucking annoying. So yeah, you just you know stand up on here and you shake the crap out of them, and that's how you that's how you level fishing, man. And uh, uh, let me see, uh, yeah, my fishing level is 540, and I have been doing shakes since I since the second I got to 25% shake chance. Now. That's because I didn't want to be out and about. I didn't want to be out of my base doing it. However, you actually can, you actually shouldn't, I should say, um, uh, start using shake until about 35% because it's it actually levels slower until then. But I was I just wanted to be in my house doing it. Um, being away, I, I, I just feel safer here, you know what I mean? I, I don't like being out in the world. So, um, let me just go ahead and put uh, these away. And one more of those on my hot bar. And so, yeah, basically, that is the um, shake chance. Actually, I did want to show you one more thing. Um, now, a lot of times in the past, You've been able to use random ticks t t to catch fish and level fishing much, much quicker. That is awesome. I got right into a fucking biome. So why uh, don't you do that anymore? Well, here's the reason why you don't do that anymore. What people used to do is, and I'm probably, oops, I'm probably going to die, but whatever. What people used to do is they used to go like this. And you have a random chance of just catching a fish. Actually, I am going to go to land. So, here's why. When you're holding this down, MCMMO recognizes that you're doing it, and it will make me a liar, apparently. There it is, the Kraken. Okay. So, here's what the Kraken is. is uh, it's a little squid, and uh, it's going to fucking just annoy the bitch tits off you. And if you are AFK, I mean, if you have a pretty decent set of armor... He shouldn't really be able to hurt you too much, but yeah, there we go. He's not very powerful, and he is just a squid, so when you kill him, you get, you know, you get this. Basically, what he does is he hits you with an area of effect attack, and uh, he, he'll teleport to anywhere that you are, and he's super fucking annoying. So you can't just, um, oh, it breaks your, it breaks your uh, thing, by the way, too, because you caught the Kraken. So, um, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> so basically, that covers fishing. Uh... Which also grinds your repair, because you're repairing your fishing pole. Um, and in fact, the repair will go up even faster than the fishing in most cases. Um, actually, in all cases, what I'm talking about. Uh, but, how do you get your shake level uh, high enough to allow you that, you know, 50 XP at a reliable speed? Um, well, let me show you the device that I use. Um, and basically... Uh, usually I put this thing at cloud level so that it's harder to, oops, oops, I don't want you saying that yet, so that it's harder to detect, but this is the guy right here, and there's really not much of a tutorial that needs to be done, I don't think I have any boats up there, so let me make a couple, um, I, I should not have to show you guys how to make this thing, if you see it, you'll know, but basically, the reason why I do this is if, if, uh, I don't want to hit F3, but if, um, if you're in an ocean biome and you're in a boat, so basically, if you're in an ocean biome, you have a fifth, you have uh, twice the amount of chance to catch a fish. If you're in uh, a boat, you also have twice the amount of chance of catching a fish. And if you're in both, you have, you know, it it, it stacks. So um, normally, I build this up high. Oh, and you want the water to be able to see sky because uh, you also have a much higher chance of catching a fish. And if it's raining, if your server allows rain, then you also have a much higher chance of catching a fish. So that's the best way to do it. Um, however, what the reason why you make this three wide like this is because you can't place a boat on one single thing of water unless it's surrounded by water. So like I can place it in the middle here, and you put these down here. Uh, so that if you catch a TNT, it'll actually just fall right through and not kill you. And it, you also have a chance of not getting poisoned this way because there's nothing behind you for it to splash on. So what you're going to do now, boats are weird on this server, so I might I might miss my first time. But what you're going to do is you're going to get in, 
Oh, I got it, okay. You're gonna get in and you're gonna fish, and because I'm in a boat in an ocean biome, I'm gonna get more experience, uh, or sorry, I'm gonna get more chance of catching a fish, which in turn gives me more experience. Now, like I said, I should not have to show you how to make this thing. You can look at it. If you can't make it, then you're kind of beyond help at this point. But that's basically it. Now, when you want to get out, you just shift and pop. There you go. Pretty simple stuff. So, the TNT will um, spawn and kill you. Well, it might just hurt you, but it'll e eventually kill you. Um, be um, at first, it's because you have a high trap percentage rate for Treasure Hunter. By default, these percentages um, will actually flip um, eventually with the epic loot uh, ending up at 7.5%, which is really nice. Um, so if you want more uh, detail, I'm going to put up on the screen right here, um, Treasure Hunter stuff and what you get. I'm going to basically just build the screen. You can pause it. You can take a screenshot, whatever. It's also on the wiki, but yeah, here you go. And uh, there you go. So let me, yeah, I'm going to... I'm gonna do a repair real quick, I guess. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, what is going on? Welcome back. So now here we have the repair thing, and really quick, what does repair give you? Some people ask me. It gives you nothing. It really gives you nothing. You'll never really have the full enchants uh, received percentage, even at level 1,000. So it's only really good to give you a quick boost in MCMO level, as well as to get you salvaging quickly. Uh, but basically, here is what you want to make. Um, this is a very simple design. Everybody and their brother knows about this. You're going to basically just put a cactus surrounded by blocks and then a dispenser. Inside the dispenser, you're going to put some boats. And the reason why is because remember up there, we couldn't put it onto a single block of water. Well, you can if you dispense it. Um, and so basically what you're going to do is you're going to sit in a boat um, and then get on top of cactus and the reason for that is up oh, up oh, okay there we go and the reason for that is you will take a lot more damage now before you do it you want to go ahead and drink a potion of regen that was loud you want to make sure that you're fully fed so I'm going to ah, I'm probably should be okay um, but yeah basically I'm doing this in iron armor and um, you're going to want a couple of splash potions of healing when you're doing um, the iron armor so just like that, and actually I need to eat now. Oh, leg, 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 leg. I'm actually gonna grab two more. I'm probably gonna need them. What you're gonna watch is you're gonna watch your helmet, and your helmet is gonna break first. It's gonna give you the most XP too. So your helmet is once it's down to about 10, and I should be okay now. Once it's down to about 10, we're gonna hop out. I'm not gonna be okay. And it's down to about 10. So it's at the lowest level that you can get experience at. And my boat broke. Damn it. Anyway, so what you do is... Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take off our armor. And we're going to repair it. So make sure that you have some of the material that you're using to repair. So if it's iron, you want iron. If it's diamond, you want diamond. Gold, gold, so forth and so on. So what you're going to do is you're just going to right click it. Now mine repairs more of the item because I have a high level of, re of repair. So basically, yeah, you're going to just right click it, and hopefully I'll gain a level. No, I won't. I just, I'm too freaking high of level to do it. So uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to do my uh, diamond armor, and I don't care that it has an enchant on it uh, because uh, it's protection one, and I just don't care. So we're going to go ahead, and we're going to go ahead and uh, get another one of these I didn't make enough so I'll just grab one now because it's diamond armor you really only need one of them and uh, or one splash potion of uh, healing uh, so I'm gonna dispense the last boat and I'm gonna make sure that I'm fed so boop, I'm fed okay and I'm gonna get onto this cactus and I'm gonna start taking damage now the reason why you're doing this in a boat on a cactus is because for some reason it resets your hit count and you take just a massive amount of damage like, look at this thing. It's just flying down. So, I forgot to drink my regen potion. You always want to do that first. Okay, I'm lagging balls here. There we go. So, yeah, you want to make sure that you're always fed. And I uh, do want to feed myself real quick. And then, um, yeah, basically, once you get down to about half health, you're going to go ahead and splash that potion on you. And you can see this thing is just melting away. Uh, so, with the diamond armor, uh, pr protection doesn't do any real good for you here um, you want to make, normally do unenchanted because when you're first leveling this you will almost guaranteed lose your enchants so 
um, it's extremely important that you don't do like your super god armor or something like that. But as soon as this is at level 10, we are going to jump the fuck out. And now you have to keep doing iron until you get to level 50. Once you're at level 50 repair, just like salvage, you can do. Uh, God damn it! Uh, you could do your um, uh, diamond as well. So we're gonna go ahead and it's gonna ask me. See? Ooh, see? Okay, now that one it retained it. That's cool. So yeah, see, I lost it. Yeah. So we're just gonna keep on going. I'm gonna probably lose them all. Oh, I didn't lose that one. That's crazy. I can't believe it. All right. Yeah, see, repair sucks. I'm at level 1,197, and I still lost most of my enchants. So, repair is a useless skill, but it's good for MCMO levels, because even at the level that I'm at, I just gained four levels. Look at that. Now, when you're first doing this, you're going to be at a massive amount. You're just going to be getting, like, just crazy amounts of, of, of XP. And it's eventually, like, like, like this is showing, it's going to slow way the fuck down. Okay. So... It's very expensive to grind this skill, but you know it's it's a very good skill because it's really easy to it's really easy to get levels in it. So that pretty much covers repair and uh, fishing. Which oh the boats didn't break. Yeah, I have the boats still. I don't need them, but I have them. There you go. All right. That basically covers fishing and repair, um, which are the parent skills to salvage. And salvage was made was the main reason why we're doing this because you can then salvage these items and you can get. Uh, a crap ton of materials like say you raided you want the diamonds there you go I got them just like that actually I have more diamonds now than I did when I started so that's pretty cool but anyway guys thank you <clears throat> for watching if you enjoyed uh, and if you made it to the end of this incredibly long video then drop a like and let me know what skill you want to learn about next I'm thinking about actually going about the party system and when you do and don't want to use it but thank you for watching guys and I will see you next time peace and mustard. I know that you bought her. Your girl made her tongue work. Everything I've ever dreamed, we hit it once they call the team. I say right through your shit like a colonoscopy. What you about to do? Mess around with sass, but you must stick a jack. Like you must stick a chop. Nah, I'm in the penthouse. You sleeping on the cop. Me and my little still a fight. You playing hot scotch. Watch the clock and tick a tock until I'm on the tippy top. The only way I'm finna stop is Windows 7 figures drop. Y'all can come with a nah. Hate the love, but it's fine. But you think I got a shot? Maybe make a lot of quap. Once I pop my name and on, I'm reckless on the microphone. I wreck the record. Here you go. That be the thing to read my flow. Rest is just a second guess. You might miss the message. Don't underestimate. I'm the best in the best.